Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason, my guy behind the camera is Trenton, and this is the Diamond Knife Company. Let's go. Welcome back everyone. As I mentioned in the intro, my name is Jason. I'm here again with Trenton behind the camera. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a 10 knives out of my personal collection. If you've seen our recent social media posts, then you know I was kind of giving you an idea of what today's video was gonna be all about. And that is green handled knives. I truly, truly love green handled knives, especially with black blades. So I'm gonna have Trenton bring you in closer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, we're gonna run through these pretty quick. They got a lot of knives to look at, so I'm gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna show you this first one from Artisan. Um, this actually is a folder that you can turn into a straight blade by using this pin right here. So it does not come with the lanyard on it. I added that little lanyard on there, um, but you can see this hole right there that will pin the blade to the handle. It is a liner lock. Um, it's got a pocket clip on one side, which can be moved to the other side, but it will be tip up carry. Um, D2 blade, um, but I gotta warn you, this is a heavy, heavy knife. I've worn it some, but you're really gonna have to cinch your belt up to keep that from pulling your your pants down I'll tell you that for sure this is the box that it comes in right here um, and then this uh, this uh, felt bag will come in there as well and then this um, is the actual information on the knife you can see the model no number there 1820p d2 blade it's got the hardness um, handle material and all that all that good stuff so that's what you get when you when you purchase that one. Now the, the next uh, several are going to be from Spyderco. This is the military. This is the one that started the whole military family. Um, liner lock. Um, and then you can see there that's the blade material on this one right here. S30V. Uh, G10 handles. Um, and then the only knife on the table that um, is tip down carry. Um, and this pocket clip you cannot you cannot move it's that's it so you get right hand carry tip down that's the only thing about this knife that I do not like um, I think all of your knives should be able you should be able to carry them tip up but this one unfortunately cannot on the second model that they came out with the PM2 um, that was changed along with the, the lanyard hole uh, this one has a substantially larger lanyard hole than the first one you can see that right there how much larger that is um, so there's the pocket clip that can be reversed tip up tip down either side um, there's the blade material in this one s30v and uh, the tanto and this one um, is the compression lock that's the other thing that they changed from the first one the first one being the uh, the liner lock. All right, the next one here is going to be my PM3. So this will be a smaller version of the PM2, again with the same handle material, the G10, Digicamo, black blade, and then you can see this one. This blade has an S45VN blade. Um, same compression lock on this one. Pocket clip, same thing. You can see this one's had some pocket time right there. Got some wear on that one. And also there's some there's some good uh, good marks there on the blade as well where I've been putting this thing to work. So if it wants to focus in there. Yeah, you can see that I kind of put some chips in there. But um, great knife. Overall the size is for a small knife, you can still get a whole whole hand on there. Um, even with not using the finger choil. So this is this is a really good carry, uh, lightweight carry. Um, and then the last spider code that I'm going to have in the green uh, handle is going to be this lockback, the Enduro. Um, and then this one's got the VG10 on there, blade material. It's got the uh, 
flat, flat ground blade. Um, same thing on the pocket clips. You've got the option for tip up, tip down, left or right. And this is a good knife for lefties as well. As, as well as the other with the compression locks. Um, it's really good for left or right hand carry since you have those options to move stuff around. Um, but I, I, I really like this knife. It's just the only drawback to me is, is that I like to use the, uh, the hole there to do what they, you know, the, the old spidey flick. And on the lock back, it can be done, but sometimes, you, I mean, you really have to fire that thing out to get it because of the lock back. But still, this is a great knife. All right, the next one I want to look at here is this one is by Adamanti, which is a manufacturer that partnered with uh, Ganzo Tools. Um, and then this, it is a frame lock. It's the only frame lock that I have on the table. Um, and then this one is only one option for the pocket clip, and that's it right there. It's uh, going to be tip up, and it's for righties only. Um, and then you can see that it does have, does have the glass breaker there. Oh, and there you go. Frame lock. And then this, I believe, is going to be... There's a lot of information on this knife, but I think that, uh, if I'm pr pronouncing it right, and the format is um, the name of the knife. It's D2 blade material, and the skimming is the gentleman that designed this knife, and then it tells you right there that it's made by Ganzo. So this is a great knife. Um, it's just got super smooth action, uh, and I don't even mind that it doesn't have a black blade. I mean, this, just the design here, the swedge on the on the front there, of the knife on the top there is just, just this is a really really great carry. Um, the next one that we're going to take a look at is going to be this one right here. This one is by Kubi, and this is one that we mentioned in our first video, um, and it is a liner lock see that right there it's got the g10 scales um, it's got a d2 blade it's got a cool design with that fuller in the blade there the tanto shape to the blade cool design right there where it's milled out on the flipper tab um, no lanyard hole on this one um, but uh, I just went ahead and used the uh, pocket clip for the lanyard just slid that on there and that's that's worked out great this is another great knife it has really great action the flipper on it works really really good and it does ride on uh, caged ball bearings so the next one that's the newest one to my collection is going to be this uh, Dimco uh, 20.5 um, does have the shark lock there um, blade material on this one is going to be you can see that right there it's going to be that S35 VN um, and now this knife will only be, um, you can do right or left carry on this one. Um, however, only, uh, tip up and, uh, the packaging that it comes with will allow you to change that, but you actually have to change the whole pocket clip. So they do send one so that you can change out the pocket clips and then carry it from the left side. So that's really cool that they do that for the individuals that want to carry this as left hand. And then you can see their packaging there with the knife. So that's pretty cool. And then one of the oldest knives that I have in my collection is going to be this right here, this Benchmade Griptilian. This is the large Griptilian. Um, this is going to be the... Uh, the one with uh, the hole in the blade, which is going to be this model right here. Now that you can get them without the hole, and it's got the thumb studs on there. Um, blade material on this one is 154 cm. Um, this blade has seen a lot of use and a lot of hard use, and I'm really impressed with this blade material. Now I have sent this one in to Benchmade and they took it all apart cleaned it and uh, Sharpened it and when I got it back. I was amazed at what a great job they did with this knife um, It was super super sharp and uh, One thing that I did do is change out the uh, pocket clip so you can do left or right carry 
uh, with this. And as you know, with the access lock, that this would be good carry for lefties as well. You just have to switch the pocket clip over to the other side. And you can see that right there that this is not the Benchmade clip. Um, took this off a different knife. Um, I, if anybody knows what brand that is, leave me a message down in the comments. I'm curious to see how many of you guys know what brand of knife that uh, that pocket clip came off of. And then the last one that we have here is going to be from Civivi. Um, and then I do have the packaging for this one, so I will show you that. This is the this is the box. This is the box that it will come in when you receive the knife. And then inside the box, when you pull the knife out, it will actually be in this soft storage case. So when you open this, the knife will be in there. It will be in this plastic sleeve. Then you're going to have some paperwork in here. You've got this soft cleaning towel and there will actually also be another Civivi I believe it's the Elementum uh, uh, sticker in there but I've already removed that and, and uh, placed that on something so but you will get that when you get this package um, so this model has got the it's got the green micarta scales um, it's got the Damascus blade material it is a liner lock um, very thin, very light carry. Um, I chose on this one to put the lanyard on the pocket clip so I could remove it if I wanted to or change it out with another one instead of actually putting it through the lanyard hole there. But a uh, very nice carry, uh, kind of an upscale carry and uh, this thing is just super smooth. It's very light and it has great action, fires open real good and uh, just it's just got great, great action. So those are the 10 that I have in my collection with green handles. I actually do have one more that I want to show you guys. And that is this one here, the Sog Fish On. I don't know how many of you even know anything about this knife. Um, it's really crazy that I even have this in my collection. When I found out about this knife, it was years back and I scoured the internet looking for this knife and could not find it. Um, a lot of the stuff that I that I found was is that this was not a very um, appreciated knife by the by the knife community. Uh, it didn't do very well for SOG, but uh, I, I really really like it. Um, I actually found this at a gun show just by chance, and it was with the box that I just showed you, um, and it had never been used, so. I don't carry this one, it's just in my collection. Um, it's got a lot of novelty factor to it, as you can see with the, the, the pivot here looking like a reel to like a fly fish. The pocket clip obviously is a fish. Um, back here, this would be um, like a sharpener for your hooks. It's got the split ring that kind of mimics um, something off of a lure. You can see the scales have the uh, texture of like scales. And then it even has like the reel real there. Now the one thing that really made this knife just really impressive to me was this actuates there and there was a thin piece of metal right in there and whenever you would open and close that metal would click on the inside of the pivot and it would make it sound like the drag on your fishing reel. But unfortunately it was so thin that it, it has ha actually broken now so it doesn't work. Um, I reached out to SOG to see if there was replacement parts and unfortunately they said they didn't have any. So still super cool um, and uh, it's a knife that I'll definitely keep, keep in my collection forever. I don't ever anticipate getting rid of this one. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with us to the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Leave us your thoughts in the comments. That's going to about do it for this episode. So until the next one, remember to keep those tips up. Oh, sorry. I just thought like, we really appreciate it. Until we see you on the next. That's not the way I wanted to say it. Oh my God. All right, that's going to about do it for this. Why did I say it like that? Do it.